Sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Scrum with G2 Caps. Uh, we will take questions in English or in Chinese. So please use the Zoom hand raise feature to cue yourself in line for a question and we will call on you or you may type your question in chat to be read out loud. Uh, first, can we ask for Chinese media questions? Uh, is there any uh, question? Uh, Yahoo Esports. Uh, hello, Kevs. That I want to ask is, uh, today we can see G Two brought out a lot of special selections. That this is for the past year to So, hello, Kevs. Actually, we saw uh, many special uh, champion picks for today. Is there any uh, preparation before it, or so why do you guys choose it? Uh, hello. Um, yeah, I mean, we had now, I think, about a month since since uh, LEC final. So uh, definitely with a few patch jumps and stuff like that, we were practicing a bunch of new heroes. Uh, and uh, some of them we picked today. Some of them we still have uh, have for another day. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think everything we, we played was practiced. It was, uh, it was stuff that we had ready. We um, had, had like a decent... I think uh, understanding of Team One and what they want to play, uh, so we came with with counters to to their strategies. Uh, first, because uh, uh, from LEC 决赛到 MSI 其实经历一个月嘛，有很多版本上的改变，所以他们也是呃，所以我们也做了很多的呃准备。那其实呃，我们还有一些准备，呃 ，for T One 也有，然后呃，为了之后比赛的也有。那我们也从我们这些准备，其实今天。也、呃、很好的运用了运用了很多，然后看到了 T1 的选择，我们也做了一些对应的呃对应的准备和选择，这样子。好，谢谢。嗯。And then final Chinese media question, Hupu. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. So caps. Uh. So what do you think the main reason for uh today's a uh, very uh. For today's loss, and also, uh, is there anything you feel uh, really sorry about on this series? Um, I think the main reason we lost. I mean, I think the the the, the different games are different reasons. Maybe I think I'm probably the most sorry about the first game because I I was quite fired, and then um, I got caught off guard when. Um, like the the since I was sneaking through mid uh, and they tearful on me, I think then I, I started from behind and then um, and then from there we just threw our lead. So I'm definitely yeah frustrated with that that game in particular. Um, and then of course the 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 last two games we lost as well. I think we um, maybe went into a bit of a trap where we didn't really have a good way of getting pressure on the game. Kind of felt like they were running the the game from start to finish and. While we found a good few good fights and a, and a, and a good few good angles, uh, it definitely felt like we were playing like catch up always. Um, so uh, looking forward, gonna try to be the ones uh, in in charge of the of the map. Um, first, uh, the main reason is that he thinks that he thinks that the first mistake of the team is the personal mistake, especially the second one, which is that he uh, when he first won a good lead, but when he was in the 呃，中路想去蹲人的时候，呃，被呃在在草里的时候被被抓到了很多次，所以他觉得这部分是他呃整个 BO 五里边比较遗憾的地方，而包括整个呃在第四局和第五局当中，其实呃没有保持没有保持一个足够的呃警觉，然后导致他们在呃后面的一个失利，呃，但是他们还是非，但是他还是非常呃有信心能够去呃更好的调整，然后面对接下来的比赛。Awesome. Next question, China Gap. Uh, hello, Gaps. I'm Yoto from China Gap. Um, during the game, you guys dominated game two and three, and even game one, you look really confident into playing the matchups against T1. However, on game three and four, sometimes you like lost the idea of looking skirmishes and and actually like getting results out of them. What do you think was the main reason? You guys like lost in those skirmishes that were working for you during game three and four. Thank you. Um. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, we 
we had a hard time finding like uh, pressure in the game the la last few games uh it felt like we were usually quite desperate to get control of the map um it felt like it was kind of hard to find an angle on on them uh the few times we did they were good at disengaging rather be like ari holding away or Sander just ghosting or like Callista holding it felt like it was hard for us to to reach um to like go on them and at the same time, we also didn't really have pressure. Like uh, Ari was pushing the side against me always. Uh, they can very easily kill me, uh, and they can also very easily go on on Jinx mid. So we uh, we weren't really able to to get control of the of the game. So it always felt a bit desperate. And I think uh, we had a few very clutch fights to 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 make it somewhat even. Um, some of them were a bit of a miracles, right? Like the Baron fight was was definitely. Uh, quite fortunate from us, but um, but it was not enough in the end. Uh, and I think moving forward, we just need to 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 put ourselves in a in, in a better situation. Next question from MGG: How does it feel to solo kill Faker? Does this result give you more hope for the rest of the tournament? Uh, I think, I mean, I I was happy that. I was able to to kill him, but of course, uh, especially thinking looking game one, when we just lose after, then it feels a bit bad, and especially because I uh, I ended up dying right after. Uh, I think the yeah, I think it it feels kind of bad. Maybe I was too uh, proactive afterwards. I think I was trying to go for the the top roam, and then I got punished on the way back. So definitely bittersweet, I guess. Um, uh, it felt good in the moment, but. Uh, if we can't translate it to win, then then it feels a bit worse. <laughs> so, yeah. Next question from GameK. Um, G2 had a very good performance against T1, um, but why choose Vel Velveth? This seems like a strange champion and can be very difficult to operate. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Velveth is, is one of, of Yag's, uh, like signature champs, I think. I, he always does very well in it, and I think in the last game, we kind of needed some um some like fighting power i think because they were playing like the the Kalista Varys, which is very strong and we needed someone who could fight back against them uh so we we went for the the bell next question presna esports hi caps i'm fusavi from prince esports my question is the next one you were very close to winning but what do you think needs to be fixed to beat LCK in a upcoming game? Uh, hello. Um, I think um, I think that we got quite stressed on stage. I think for sure. Um, it's something I think we were working on last year a bit, and I think we got better at it towards Worlds. But now it feels like it came back a bit again. And for sure, when we play these like super close, important series, then that will make us more stressed. But uh, we need to, I think, find a way to calm down a bit, in, in, especially in comps. Uh, it felt very hard to get um, a proper plan set up. So I think we need to find a way to just like, yeah, be a bit more calm, maybe uh, have less less people speaking. Uh, and I think that could be a big advantage uh, for us going forward. And at the same time, I think we made some crucial mistakes. Uh, and I, I made some, some, yeah, some very big mistakes, um, which ended up costing us a lot. Uh, and I think... Yeah, I will do better next time, uh, and then I'm sure we can we can beat whoever we we go up against. Next question from Maya's Esports. Uh, I would like to know: Can you tell us uh, what did the team talk about between Game Four and Game Five, and was that invasion planned? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think going from Game Four to Game Five, we were just like yeah, trying to reset a bit because I think the Game Four felt kind of tough for us. We didn't really get to. Get to do a lot to be honest we were kind of just uh yeah getting pushed in and um we were not really able to put up a good fight so i think going into game five we just wanted to 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 yeah put up a fight you know find some angles um try to get get pressure on the game uh i think one of our, of our ideas was uh was the the, the invade right uh and um Sadly, they kind of predicted it. I think Cassandra was there, so it ended up being like a, a 5 5, which we didn't really win out on. But at the same time, it also made it a lot easier for at least bots. So, yeah, I think it had some pros and some cons. Um, yeah. 
And final question from Lag Vietnam. Uh, you had a really great performance on Oriana. Um, unfortunately, the Tristana in the first game didn't really work as expected. So can you explain the low uh, win rate of Tristana for this MSI? And do you think it will be picked by your team or maybe others in the next round of the tournament? Yeah, I mean, so I think the the Tristana is is, is quite strong. I think a lot of the her items were buffed, the AD carry items. And I think when you have to deal with like a lot of frontline, then she can be quite strong at that. Um, I think, I, I mean, maybe it's hard to speak for, I guess, everyone, every Tristana in the tournament, but I think for me, at least in that game, I was also quite strong in the game. I, I was um, a bit ahead, but I think then I just over pushed it a bit. I think if I had played it a bit more uh, slow, then it would have been much better, but I tried to snowball top lane. I got like a bit greedy with that and uh, on my way back, I got punished and then I think ended up losing a fight somewhere as well. Um, or like on their mid uh where they, they TP'd on us and we died again. So yeah, it was, I think a bit too proactive. Need to play it a bit more, yeah, a bit more slow. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Caps. Thank you.